dollar prime rib. Now I'm gonna cut it into three sections and show you three different ways to cook it and let you know which one I think is the best. Let's start. Merry Christmas. Today I got a $300 prime rib. We're gonna cut it into three different sections and cook it three different ways. And I'm gonna tell you which way is best. Let's get started. Merry Christmas. Look what I got today. That's a $300 prime rib that I'm gonna cut into three different sections. Look at that, that's a big piece of meat. That's $300 worth of prime rib that I'm gonna cut in three different sections and cook three different ways and let you know which way I think's the best. Let's get started. Still wanna do the karate chop? Sure. We can do it. I try to keep the meat in the same place whenever you cut it. All right. But what you have to do is chop, karate chop, cut. Yeah. yeah. Even though we're where are we live on? YouTube and Instagram. Okay, I gotta hide the knife. So we got seven bones. I have so we got seven bones. We're gonna go three little bones, two big, two big. I mean, get me slicing it too. Okay. Then I'll also do the other part. Okay. Get your knife. Get your favorite knife. Get your favorite knife out. And how's this gonna work? I don't know if it'll work. Let's find out. One. Now we got our three sections, three different ways. Let's cook them three different ways. All right. It's looking pretty. Let me say something about how pretty it looks. Look how pretty it looks. Don't it look pretty? Don't it look pretty? Look how pretty it is. It is pretty. The meat stream. Okay, we're streaming some meat. All right. You got some people in here asking how much does that meat cost you? Three hundred dollars. I did buy it from Whole Foods. So it was a bit pricey. So it was seventeen pounds of like. $18 a pound, something like that. All right. The first one and the biggest one, we're gonna cook like this. Get you some milk. Get.
Get you a gallon of whole milk. And we're gonna submerge. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be the best. You know why? Because I've done it before. We're not fully submerged. Hang on. I knew I had a little bit more for a reason. Almost. Almost. Let's some half and half. Heavy cream, uh, some water. How many people are watching? 161 on YouTube. Yeah. I got around 56. Yeah. Well, for anybody that's just tuning in, I'm doing three different prime rib job. I whip out one big whole prime rib. One of them I'm submerging in milk, and the other two I'm gonna cook two other different ways. So. We're not done with this here. Uh, A lot of running back and forth sometimes. Y'all want to see where I run back and forth to? You want to see that part of Dano's? Come on, let's go. This is where I keep all my cooking utensils. Come on in. See all this stuff? All my different pans and pots. All this stuff, all my different spatulas, all that stuff. It's crazy, right? Gotta look at all my different ingredients, all my different seedlings. Look at all that. But let's get back in and let's finish this recipe. I just ran to Walmart because I forgot one thing. The Dano's original. That's the green top. Open you up a fresh bottle. That's my favorite part. What we're going to do is we're going to pour it into a strainer. Reason why we're pouring it into a strainer is watch this. So what we just did is we got out the big parsley flakes and the mustard seeds because we don't want any big chunks clogging up our injector. So now, so now we take our sifted Danos and we're gonna put it into our milk, one whole bottle. And pretty much, we're just gonna mix that in. Get it mixed into the milk. Might take a second to get it all from like not clumping because of the, the moisture of the milk and whatnot. But we're gonna get it in there, get it mixed in. Now, actually, if I wasn't doing this for video purpose, I might mix this together on the side and then dump it in. It doesn't matter. We're going to get there. All right. 
So now what I do, we're gonna get our, we kept our injector from Thanksgiving. Now, we get the juice, our seasoned milk, and we literally, we start injecting this thing. I'm gonna turn it on its side so you can see how we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna inject strategically right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. And we'll get more. And then we'll come down here, put it in the big part of the muscle. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. And I'm just gonna to continue to do this for the next five or 10 minutes and get all this milk and seasoning injected into this. And then we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours and we'll see you tomorrow. Hmm. Exciting stuff. What? Nothing. So, any questions for anybody? What are we making, Dan? What are we making? We're making a milk marinated prime rib. I know you're like, milk? What's that? People never heard of it before. I never heard of it before. I learned about this from some old country boy that was my neighbor, my uh, neighbor in college. And he's like, oh, yeah, prime rib, you marinate that in milk. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So I took his advice, and it was seriously the best thing I ever had. So that's why I say my vote on what's going to be the best is the milk marinated prime rib. But we shall see. We're going to give them all a fair shot, and we're doing one sous vide, so it's going to be pretty awesome. Someone wants you to say, yummy, I'm going to get you some for them. Oh, I'm going to get you some. <laughs> also, are you smoking it, or are you going to put it on a barbecue? No, I'm going to cook them in the oven. Basically, one of them I'm going to brine, salt brine. This one here, you can see we're doing the milk marinade. And then the other one we're going to uh, sous vide and then finish off in the oven. I'm going to turn it on the side and then we'll get some in the middle. And then we'll be done with this one. All right, so we marinated both ends. Now we're laying it flat and going in on the side so we can get the middle part. We're just trying to get that milk down into the middle of this meat. Like I said, we're gonna let this marinate overnight. And it's gonna be delicious. Flip it over to put the meat side down and the bone side up. So if there is any part that's not submerged, that's not the part that we're going to be eating. So everything that's going to be eaten is submerged. It's going to get super tender for us. We're going to throw this in the fridge and we'll see you tomorrow. You got some people asking uh, when you sous vide that, what temperature and how long do you think? You know what? I haven't figured that out. I'm thinking I'm going to do it at like 115. But actually, before I do it and I actually turn the sous vide on, I'm going to do a little research first. Mike? Yeah. Can you research that? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I was thinking it'd be cool to do it for like 24 hours or what if we did it for 30 hours. But is that, you know, my experience of sous vide is when I did it with the, uh, when I sous vide with the, uh, the chicken, chicken wings. like I did chicken wings, but I also did like a whole chicken one time or chicken thighs. 
and it like totally like made all the juice come out of the chicken and they were super dry because I did it for too long. I was like, oh, sous vide, I'll do it for four hours. Well, no, you don't want a sous vide chicken for four hours. I promise you that. Someone said low and fast is guaranteed gas. Low and what? Low and fast. Low and fast, don't get. What's on your hip, Dan? What's on my hip? Oh, that's the that's the seasoning holster. It's the old Dan's holster. That's the OG. You can barely even see it. Uh, all right. So next one, we're going to salt brine. Okay. All right, next up, we're gonna salt brine. So we're gonna salt brine for 24 hours, and then when it's done brining, we're gonna season it up with some compound butter and some danos and whatnot, and see how that turns out. In a mixing bowl, I'm going to add a bunch of sea salt. Bunch of sea salt into a mixing bowl. And we're going to add some large, coarse ground black pepper in there as well. Mix it up. A little bit of so it's a little better. That's good. And we just start adding our salt. And we just start adding our salt mixture. Turn it over. Hit the side. Be generous with it, because we're going to wash it off anyways. Turn it over. More salt. Turn it over. You want to do like salt thing. And more salt. And a little more salt. And we'll hit it down on this top part. Bottom top, I don't know. Just like that. So, now that we got that all salt and peppered up, we'll let that sit for 24 hours. See you tomorrow with that. Some people are asking, uh, where, where can you find Danos? Walmart, Kroger's, uh, go to our website, danoseasoning.com. Not only can you buy it there right now with free shipping, but you can also 
find a store locator in our store locator. Last one, the sous vide. Here's how we're gonna do this. Now for the sous vide, you're gonna need one of these. Now it's time for the sous vide. So you're going to need one of these. Alright. Uh, let's get some water in here. Yeah, got 125 on YouTube right now. He still wants to know what do you do when all the food's finished. He's probably uh, well, we've always got anywhere from three to four or five people here, so usually. We just take it home amongst ourselves. Depending on what's being cooked, I'll take something or nothing. You have some people asking, uh, why did we start doing these lives? Why? Because... So y'all can watch them. Basically, we try and do everything that we can to connect with you guys and let you know that we are the seasoning that you need to have. If you've never had it, you need it in your life. So we do anything and everything we can to connect with you. And now that we have more people on the staff, somebody that can come over and actually turn on the live while we do our other work, filming the actual video, it's cool that we're able to do that, to be able to share our recipes with you. I just realize there's a sticker on your shirt, then. No. Oh, nice. Hey. Oh, that's how much the... Prime rib was two hundred ninety nine dollar. Eighteen seventeen point six three pounds. All right, here's our water for the sous vide. Now one thirty three for eight hours. Do what? One thirty three for eight hours. On sous vide. Yep. Big question is, where is my sous vide? That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> where is the sous vide? Maybe one of those fish tank heaters instead. <laughs> Maybe we're not going to sous vide this. Yeah, I got it. You got it? All right, so now let's talk about a few things with the sous vide. Actually, I'll show you a little trick. All right. So now it's time for the third one, and we're going to sous vide this thing. 
So we got our container full of water, but look at this. This does not reach. I gotta fill that water all the way up to here to keep this thing submerged. So I wanted y'all to see what was going on, but we're gonna have to move to this to keep things more simple. So now it's time for the third one. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna sous vide. Check it out. We're gonna grab our big bottle of Danos, that's the green. We're gonna bat, we're gonna grab our big bottle of Danos original. That's the green top. And we're gonna hit it with a pop pop. We're gonna cover it graciously on all sides. Be aggressive. It's the beautiful thing about Danos. You're not gonna do too much. We're even gonna open it up right there. Get a little bit down in there. Right here. We'll get it covered on all sides. All right. Now we got it covered. I don't have a fancy Ziploc. I don't have a fancy back. I don't have a... I don't have a fancy <laughs> I don't have a fancy vacuum sealer, so I'm gonna use a ziplock. Simply place it in. We're gonna grab some of this extra seasoning left behind. Grab us a good handful of that. We'll just throw that in there. Cause you can't ever have enough of that dang good. Now watch this. We are going to cook this in this pan. But I just want to show you, if you take this and drop it down in, it'll automatically vacuum for you and get all the air out. See that? So now, you just get the rest of this air out, just like that. You seal this thing while it's down in there. Pretty much, those are pretty close to being vacuum sealed. So we'll put that in here. We'll even do it again because it didn't seal, but you get the point, right? So I'm gonna pour my water in. Make sure it's totally submerged. Now you can see when we press it down and get our seal on our Ziploc. There we go. Press it down in there. There we go. There. Now we're good. So now we're good and vacuum sealed down in there. And you can see this is where there's the minimum and the max is up there somewhere around there. So we'll put that in there just like that. And we're going to go for eight hours at 133 degrees. We'll see you tomorrow. Now we can set all this to the side. All right, let me uh, I'll put it all back on the table. Actually, let's clean that off real quick. Let's go. Yeah. Got my handy dandy little scraper right here. I swear this thing saves me so much time. Wow.
all the things that get stuck to this table. We could actually totally make another video that's like a teaser. With these three right here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Someone just asked, uh, is that Dano's seasoning on your holster? Yes, it is. Fantastic. It's a Dano's seasoning, look. put D.O. in it with my knife in case anybody ever tried to take my holster and say it was theirs. <laughs> Get right. So now we got our $300 worth of prime rib, one marinating in milk, one marinating in dry brine, and one marinating in Danos, getting ready to get sous vide for eight hours. So stick around. Am I doing this as a separate video? Sorry, so let me do this again yeah. like it's in the video. Yeah, all right. All right, so now we got our three prime ribs prepped. One in milk, one dry brining, one dry brining in Danos. So let's see what happens. So now when we go to the videos, we'll be like, all right, 24 hours later, 20 minutes, this, that, and the other. We'll be good. So when we get here Friday, the first thing we'll do is start this. Yeah. Early. Man, when we walk in the door, we start that thing. All right, let's do that video again real quick. We're good. So now we got our three prepped and ready. Now let's cook them. Right. Now let's do. Yeah. We should totally post this soon. Uh, check it out, you guys. I got a $300 prime rib cut up in three different pieces here. We got one ready to sous vide. We got one marinating in milk. And we got one hitting the dry brine for 24 hours. And we're going to make our compound butter and roast that bad boy. So stick around and see which one turns out the best. I couldn't really see the $300 thing when you pulled it out. It was too quick to hold it up there for like a second or two. All right. Check it out, y'all. That's a receipt for $300. I got a prime rib here I cut up into three different sections. One of them we got marinating in a salt brine for 24 hours, and then we're going to compound butter it. We got this marinating in milk. That's right, injected with Danos. And then we got our sous vide back here. So stick around, hit that follow button. Make sure you check out and see which one of these turns out the best. I need another refrigerator. Alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed that preparation of these prime ribs. And I hope we see you soon. Uh, we are going to be posting this recipe. It probably won't be till sometime in the middle of late next week. 
uh, we hope you enjoy and continue to look out for my lives when you see us going live we're always going to be doing something like this cooking it up and these are the recipes that we make that you see us post so you get to see them firsthand while we're making them yum yum get you some keep sprinkling